All right, let's get started. <laughs> so, I have made a deck. Uh, it's currently called Blue Black Test. Let's edit it a little bit, rename it. This is my Bruiser deck. Yes, I know, I know. Seven, I good. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Whatever. Rawr. <sighs> delete that one because it doesn't work. Uh, this one, we can also delete the tents. I don't care about it. This one. Bruiser. And in it, I have. Where is she? There he is. Itrata, the silencer. <laughs> I don't have that command set up. I need to get that command set up. <laughs> I need to. F I need to figure out how to make that command. But. Uh, thanks for sticking around, Vegger. Uh, Etrata, the silencer, can't be blocked. Uh, whenever Etrata deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on the card. That player loses the game if they own three or more exiled cards with hit counters on them. Etrata's owner shuffles Etrata into their library. I'll have to. This is the only way I know how to. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I need, like, I've got five islands, eight swamps, four guild gates, two drowned catacombs, four submerged bone yards, and a watery grave. And that's my lands. I never have to worry about getting too many lands. Um, let's see here. Where was it? What was that one card? Chemister something something. Where is it? Um, chemistry's inside. Man, this thing's got 62 cards in it. Uh, I could... Could cut down a little bit by getting rid of those. And... One of those. Pull that in. Make another. And probably um let's see here. Here's a card you like to poke people with. <laughs> uh Aether Tunnel, that is a very good enchantment. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus zero, and can't be blocked. Uh, disperse. Probably cut that down by one. Call it done. Alright. Playing with Bruiser. We got a trot in there, and hopefully I got enough cards I can actually yank her back out when I use her. Oh, 
Dodo. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's even worse. Well, again, again. What the heck, man? Fine, whatever. I'll deal with it however I can. Swamp. And they're probably thinking to themselves, oh, is he running eternal thirst? Is he doing a blue black? Is he doing a blue white? A blue green? Drown catacomb and disperse. Haha, <laughs> this tells me what they got. They got an instant they can use. That tells me something. Okay. Yep, bring it back out again. Sure, why not? <laughs> I love the kite self rebooter. Uh, <laughs> ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> it's a one two with flying, and it took their card. <laughs> and it showed me the rest of their cards. Okay. Okay. Draw two cards. Flying creature, hard to hit. This is a rude deck. This is a very rude deck. This is a very rude deck, and I play it in very rude ways. <laughs> but I love Kite Self Rebooter. Absolutely love it. It shows me what they have. If I can get them out quick enough, it shows me what they have to start with. Come on. <laughs> I know what you got. But now, you've seen that I've got cards in my deck that can get rid of your cards. Go ahead. I've got nothing to block with. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see? Nothing to block with. You've got a 9-9 on the field. Oh, but that's an issue. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, and that can come out. <laughs> it's rude. I hate Vigilant Behemoth as well. Or Bailoth or whatever you call it. I hate that thing. It's a 5-5 five, five card that green decks have. Come on. You could put the Blanchwood armor on your Druid of the Cow. You got the mana to play that. But, like I've shown you, I've got things in this deck that can just decimate whatever you have. And their timeout. They're thinking too much. I've scared them. Because right now they're staring down a 2-2 two -two and a 1-2 with flying. 
even if they block it with the druid or the cow, they can't get past this thing and it's going to poke them again. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a mean card. I took his things. See? <laughs> and then he got it back. But I still know what it is. Oh, Vigilant Falloth again. Eh. Okay. And now I've got some things. You can destroy one of the two, but you're still going to get hit for two. Because you used your Druid of the Cowl for mana. You dummy. I at least have a one hit buffer. And if you play these on this, see, if you play one of those on this, you could probably end up getting me. But I've scared the crap out of you with what I've just thrown out. And now you're sitting there thinking, what can I do? What's he going to do next? What's he going to get next? He's counting mana. He's only got five that he can use. Which is not enough to get that on this twice. He doesn't know what this deck does. And quite frankly, neither do I. <laughs> okay. Rabbit bite. Okay. I'll take I'll take another five hit. But I'll destroy that if you attack with it. Unless you take forever. And you have no timeouts, and I'm getting nothing but land now. So. Might as well. Think, think, think. Okay. I'm still gonna. Sap rolling I can use to block with if he will decide to actually attack. There goes the Saverling and a walking corpse. Great. I was throw the ghoul at him. Got no cards down here, dummy. Ah, <sighs> take much longer. I'm just gonna concede because waiting is boring. Not really a good game, he took too damn long. <sighs> At 
he was he started out playing at a good pace, and then I just burned through his strategy. So he had no idea what to do at that point. Started overthinking things. And that 30 second timeout is way too long of a timeout. 15 seconds for a timeout would work. Alright, this. This good start. Good start right here. I can get all this stuff out. Hello. Where's that island? I had an island, didn't I? Oh wait, I already played it. <laughs> and wall of mist. He's thinking, oh, he got a defender deck. Oh my god, rat colony. Oh, that's gotta go. That's gotta go right now. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> go away. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, try again. <laughs> okay. Holy God, how many rat colonies do you have? Oh, good. <laughs> that was a good card. That's a good card. <sighs> yep, you'll take the two because you probably got another rat colony in there somewhere. Okay. Yep, another stinking rat colony. <laughs> I think I think I ran him out of rat colonies. <laughs> oh, oh what I get. When the psychic symbiont enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card and you draw a card. It's a 3-3 three, three with flying. That makes them get rid of a card. And you can draw one. Oh. Eh. Eh. Let's, uh, let's, let's get that. Let's get that added to the deck. Let's see here. Uh, do -do -do. Let's see, it's a blue-black. Let's go all the way to the end here. There we go. Um, let's see. Nightbell Predator. Oh, I should get that. Switch out the, uh, you know what? Let's get rid of walk Walking Corpses and put that in there. Psychic Symbiote. I've got two of these. We'll put one in. Done. And play. Rat colony. Shit. I ran him out of rat colonies. <laughs> I kept knocking them down from one to two. 
And then I just poke him for a little bit. Poke him for a little bit. Wow, that's a long wait time. Jeez. Okay. Mm, Garafi. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, Drown Catacomb, Submerged Boneyard, a Swamp, Exclusion Mage, Nightmare Predator, oh god, Dead Weight, Kite Cell Freebooter. <laughs> oh, this is going to annoy the heck out of you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do 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 do. What do you got? Crushing canopy. Destroy creature with flying. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Well, we're taking that. Thank you. You, you probably couldn't play it for a little bit, anyways. Okay. Are you going to attack with your 1-1 one, one elf? No, because that... That's not how this works. See how this works is, is I do that, and you have to play it again. And then I attack with my flyer. <laughs> Do, 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 do. You have to play it again. You're never going to get a chance to use it, though. Um, sure. Told you you're never going to get a chance to play it. <sighs> Your choice. You have to take three or take... One or take two. You took three. Not the brightest thing on earth, are you? Ah. Uh huh. Uh, no. No. Bye bye. Try again. Now you're staring at five. And you're gonna have to play that dang bear again. Yep, there it goes again. Oh, and a defender! Thank you! Come again. <laughs> now what are you going to do? You got a 2-1 bear. Dead weight? Uh, it's a uh, minus two, minus two enchant. Dead weight is a minus two, minus two enchant. You can enchant a creature with minus two, minus two. So he had a four, three bear. It turned it into a two, one bear. Basically, I took the teeth off that thing. If I can get the right combination of cards, I can really disrupt a whole bunch of decks.
<laughs> oh, Drowned Secrets. That's a good one. There was Chupacabra. Yeah, I'll keep that. Oh, and four bits from the wife. Thank you, dear. Uh, let's see here. Island. Oh. Ah, Daybreak Chaplain. Okay. Uh, go away. Try again. Once more with feeling. Rage bits. Oh no. Uh huh. Um. Swamp. Um, you didn't think I had another disperse, did you? I'm just biding my time. Yep, 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 okay. Uh, swamp, Ravenous Chupacabra. Take the card. Now I have a creature on the field, and you don't. Oh, novice knight for a defender. Hmm. Okay. Next out two cards from the opponent's graveyard. Dead Eye Tracker Explorers. And we'll play that as well. Enters tapped. One attacker. You gotta take the two or lose your knight. Or your chaplain. Or something. Because you'll lose it later. Because I got things in this deck that'll just decimate it. No, I'll let you have your one. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, no graveyard. Okay. You got nothing in your graveyard currently. No attackers. After this, you will. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guess what's coming out next? Ooh. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Oh my god, I have to put this out. And there's a reason why I love these two cards together. This and this. I just got rid of two of your lands. Sure. You're gonna take that, okay. Say goodbye to it. Do, do. 
Oh, yes, put that in the library, please. Now I know what's coming out next. Now I definitely know what's coming out next. Okay. Bash your critters up against the wall. Hi, you want to read that? Oh, you're going to use that on her, huh? Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah, nothing. Hate Harrapin's cage. I need to add some stuff to get rid of that damn thing. Well, one thing I have found is if you add more than 60 to your deck, it will put you up against people that have 60 decks that are way higher on the tier system. This will work. This will definitely work. Okay. So I can play that. I can play that. I can play that. And more than likely I'll end up getting enough mana to play that. Red deck, huh? What a red what deck? He's sitting there thinking I'm just playing a straight up black deck. The island comes out, that's when the things switch. me exactly what I need to do next. Yep. Toss that out. Mm-hmm. Island. Did I track her? So Corsair. Hang on to the Dead Eye Tracker though. I 
know exactly which deck you're playing now. <sighs> Draw two cards. That and that. Yep. Mono red ramp. Yep. Because <sighs> he's not going to like the next two cards that come out. He's really not going to like the next ones that come out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Put out your dragon. I know you got one lying around. But you got that dragon rider out quick. Oh. Shock. Okay. Kind of a bit of an overkill for that. Okay. You're really not going to like this. He's got an instant he could play here. But I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to hang on to it. Now that or he's thinking it over. Can I use it? Can I? I don't think I can. Yeah, read it. Read the thing. Yeah, there you go. It's coming back into your hand. You can play it again. Okay, it still goes back to your hand. Dummy. <sighs> he not very smart. Really not very smart. Why is my wall of mist still on the board? why it's still on the board, but all of Mist is still on the board. He ain't got enough mana to get out the dragon and the dragon rider at the same time. So it's not going to have flying. Especially if I can get rid of it. Take much longer, you're gonna end up burning through a timeout. Okay. Okay, it's still gonna die. Oh, finally figured out a way to get rid of that. Okay. Uh, here, have another one. Here, have that. 
I'll poke you with my sapperling. Now you play the Dragon Rider, okay. And the Pilgrim. Fine. Oh, look, another Sapphire. Swamp. Draw two cards. I'll attack. Take your three. You've barely got any blockers. Take your three. Or don't. That was dumb. I can still play this. Or I could do that. Gave him a fight, though. Almost everything he threw out, I was able to counter in one way or another. Crash again. See what kind of hand we get. I could definitely start out with this. Throw him off his guard. Oh, click, 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 click. Clicky the scorpion. Hello. I get a 2 2 on the field. Hello. 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 There you go. Oh. That deck. Okay. No, no, put it back. <laughs> now he's very confused. Choice. Take the head. You're not gonna like the next thing that I pull out of this deck. Oh dear. Can't be blocked. I'll give up the higher blade. I don't care. Cause I want this. Hex proof three three. 
with Death Touch. Your River Snake will disappear. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get the scorpion. Anyway. <sighs> Okay. Okay. Oh. Bye bye. And again, bye bye. He's already down to nine. That's the third time you've played River Sneak. Okay. This will take you down to seven unless you block one of them. Take you down seven, now you're at two. And I've done all this with four mana on the field. Okay. Ooh. No. <laughs> Trying to figure out if he could do anything. And they couldn't. Finally. Oh. <laughs> and what I get? Gear up port guide. Get a 3 2 on the field for two colorless and a green. You pay the same amount. Target creature you control can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. Hmm. That'd be good to add to a green deck. So now I've proven I can go up against the pre-constructed blue-green merfolk deck. Lightning Storm. Ooh. Fancy name. Okay, let's see. Demir Guildgate, Island, Swamp, Disperse, Exclusion Mage, Grasping Scoundrel, oh lord, and Mark of the Vampire. Yeah, we'll keep that. And Chemistry's Insight. Oh, Lord. Ah. One of those decks. Okay. And pass one. <clears throat> Your turn. What are you going to do? Mm hmm. Another one, okay. And island, and oh, I don't know. There, take it back. Come on, take it back. <laughs> take your elf back, you can play it again. There you go. It's pretty cheap anyways, you can play it again. Ah. 
Take the two or lose your health. Take the two, good idea. <laughs> Exclusion Mage is very annoying. I'm thinking he's not got enough mana to actually play what he wants. Mm. Oh, do I want to get rid of it completely or just give it back to him again? Mm. Well, let's kill it. Now you gotta lose your elf or take your three. I'm thinking they're mana starved. Because they haven't played anything except the freaking elf cards they've got. They might have a hand starting out with things that they can't play immediately. They might be waiting for like something big to happen. And I just keep tossing their elf back at them and then kill one. I think I just killed their strategy. Hmm. Ah, that was what he was waiting on. Enough mana to play both of those on one elf. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Goodbye. Two titanic growths. Two of them. <laughs> oh, he's looking at the exclusion mage. He's got to be thinking, eh, there's something I can play here. the titanic growth route we can go to the titanic growth route grasping scoundrel can be very mean if the right cards are played on it divination give me a couple cards Swamp, that'll work. And Hired Blade. Goodbye. <laughs> Epic Mana Elves. <laughs> oh. um, personally, I would call it Poorly Constructed. Alright, we've been going for almost an hour, I think. I'm going to take a short little break. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back and uh, seeing as how I uh, took too long, uh, the wife says I am currently in trouble, but uh, we can go finish up the stream right now and go raid Ferg, who is playing Sniper Elite 4. He's doing some sneaky, sneaky, shooty, shooty stuff. So we are going to raid Mr. Ferg. And we'll switch over to the end credits and prepare the raid. And I will see y'all tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I don't know what I'm going to play. But I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.